Citing the Electronic Act, the presiding judge, Justice Ifyasewa Asaribuchi, indicated that electronic evidence is admissible so long as they are relevant. She, however, directed the defense lawyers to disclose all the evidence they will rely on by close of Friday. After her ruling, lawyers of Dr. Kesel Atsuforsen continued with cross-examination of the third accused, Richard Jakpa. The businessman told the courts that Attorney General Godfrey Abuadami met him four times, starting from February 2022, when he sought his help to implicate the former Deputy Finance Minister. According to Richard Jakpa, during a late-night conversation and subsequent meeting with the AG in the home of a Justice of the Supreme Court, he was given assurances that he will be acquitted when the case gets to the submission of no case. He said upon these assurances, he shared some vital documents with Godfrey Abuadami. He was, however, shocked when the AG opposed his lawyer's application for submission of no case and advised himself accordingly. Richard Jakpa further alleged that the AG told him he was under pressure from President Akufado and then Finance Minister Ken Ufuriata to jail Atufosin by the first week of May 2024 in order for a by-election to be held. Answering questions about the botched contracts on the ambulances, the businessman told the courts that contrary to assertions by government that the ambulances were defective, they were not meant to be used at the time they were shipped into the country since they had not met all requirements. He averred that the ambulances were part of a shipment covered by a comprehensive warranty agreement which stipulated specific conditions including the requirement that the vehicles undergo thorough inspections and necessary adjustments before being deployed for use. This was however not adhered to by government. Deputy Attorney General Alfred Yeboa spoke to the media after the proceedings. That's how the law works. If you think you don't, we don't want to be admitted, you raise an objection. This is the duty of the judge to make a, a pronouncement of certain objections. The judge have done. How bad or not, damaging is not, this? Not at all. Admission of the audio to not, your case. Not at all, because this audio is something that you have heard, isn't it? Having to hear it, you've heard it. So, what is the meaning? By job of procedure. Do in terms of the content, we are, we, we, we are, we are not managed by that, because it's something that is in the public domain. But as to whether you can tender a recorded or still recorded audio, it's something that we don't want to test people. That's what we're talking about. First accused, Dr. Akeso Atoforsen have concluded the cross-examination of Richard Japa. At the next hearing, which has been scheduled to Tuesday, June 18, prosecution will now begin the cross-examination of Richard Japa, and then he would have to respond to allegations and other matters that he raised against the Attorney General. Lord Yudasari, TV3 News, Accra High Court.